Hello YouTubers, how are you doing? So today I'm going to show you how to cut the backgrounds from your uh, photography in Photoshop. Well, there are some different ways to do it. There is not only one way. Well, that's the thing in Photoshop. Uh, for nothing, it's not only one way. But all just you got to do is to learn Photoshop in your own way. So you got to make experiments. You got to learn some things about and let's go you get see from you gotta see from youtube some things and uh, after that all you gotta do is to learn it with your own way to learn learn it to use with your own style with your own techniques with your own everything uh, so all you gotta do now is to open a photo inside Let's go to, sorry for my language, is displayed in Greek, that's no reason for nothing. You will understand. Now I open an image. After our image is submit, let's zoom it, let's go near. So, our first, first option is our quick selection to Is the fastest one. All you gotta do is to set your set your uh, set your tool to a plus or minus, and just take your selection. If your photography is rich in pixel, Photoshop pixels, Photoshop will read the information and will. Will work better with those informations. So here we have make a selection. After this, all you gotta do is to press CTRL or Command in Mac and J, create a new layer. As we see now, here we have cut the image. Here's the first way, but there are some other ways. Let's go to test it. So. There is also, let's make a duplicate of your layer, a layer, always do it. The second way is our lasso tool, but it's not very good for it. Well, third one is magnetic lasso tool. All you got to do here is to put a click, to click on it, and your magnetic lasso tool will read automatically. If it doesn't read, just go back or wait a minute, make your selection. Very, very easy for everybody. Well, after you have made your selection here, you gotta go again at your quick selection tool to correct some things here. For example, some lines. Okay. And again, if you like, press CTRL and J. You have just created a new layer again. That's the second way. The third way to cut an image is let's go back again. That's select image. The second way is our pen tool. Well, it's a good way, but not that very fast. You gotta go here again and cut it in your way, in your own way. Well, this will take some time because it's not pretty easy. This was recommended in another version of Photoshop. In version of Photoshop CS6, we have many options to do it. As you see here, we make a selection inside. Or curl this lovely creature. Wow. Here it is. And uh, you will have this line here. 
after you are finished and you have connect the lens between so you gotta put a right click and make selection make selection here it says feather feather or radius to zero pixels you can set it in the way you are using to but don't look it don't do nothing here let it zero just hit ok and your selection is ready and just again just pick CTRL cover command in tough and J and your layer will be created again this was the third way to cut an image well another way to cut an image with Photoshop CS6 master collection or Photoshop CS6 sorry I'm sorry for that that's select you gotta go at background eraser to just select it make it bigger set your tolerance to to distances if you like uh, numbers you like just click on it click click as you see here no our tolerance is not set in the proper way as you see here Photoshop automatically removes the background and as we see we have only the parts we like to keep it's like magic yeah it's a ready one so all we gotta do is to go back now and to, no, to another way well I can set my just set the blade here well the next way is the magic selection magic one tool in Photoshop all we gotta do is to set your tolerance and this is a pretty easy way I do it all the time for my web designs to produce photos photographies and to be ready with it because it's very very simple you don't need more time to, uh, much time to do it all you gotta do is to hit on your image here as you see well we have a pretty good selection and hit CTRL and X and you will delete them backspace after this we will go again here and hit redefine edge no and hit CTRL and X again as we see here we have again our photography well let's put the background to know what we have done here computer Melody. Well, let's go with our files and let's put any background. Exactly, we don't need to put some any particular background for this tutorial. Things are very very easy. Let's put this background here, blue. Blue color is very very good color for this wonderful creature. And hit OK. All you gotta do now is to change the order of your layers and to put it up here. As we see, we don't have made a pretty good selection, but for this tutorial, to make you understand the beginning of all things, this is very, very clear. So, all you gotta do is this, and it's very, very simple. So, in this case, if we would like to make some corrections in the fast way, for example, you gotta make a layer mask or layer switch the foreground color to black and pick the brush tool or pick the brush tool and after this you gotta switch the foreground color well and let's go here we see some whites and these whites we, are whites we don't like them inside all you gotta do here is to go and to make your correction correctly As we see, 
We are pretty good now. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. But maybe <laughs> we want to change some hairs in this wonderful lady and to make her more beautiful than she is. Well, that isn't know where you will find. I wish she she was I wish she was my wife. Woman oh pretty good girl. Baby. When America has put the word baby on the dictionary that word was just for that. Oh yeah. Beautiful lips. Beautiful everything beautiful. So and hit after this redefined edge. And as you see, here we have a selection of all hairs. Well it's a pretty good selection. We don't have to do nothing here. All we gotta do here is to delete some things, some details here and there to make the things more efficient. This one. Well, here it is, for example. As we see, our photo is very, very good. And here, uh, make sure you here you are up at the selection and uh, hit OK. Here we have, you will have again one selection. You will go to the uh, correct layers and you will put the selective color inside. After this, you will go to colors and select neutrals. Well, as we see here, now the game is very, very easy. All we gotta do is to play with those. Well, I have done it before in one of my tutorials. And as you see, my color hairs have changed for the great of ways. Well, you can put any color you like, and you can play even for with your opacity. For example, here you can put your, you can make it green, you can make it everything, but everything I say. So thank you very much, and goodbye to the next time. Please like, rate. I don't know if you find this video was very useful. Please leave your comment. Thank you very much and goodbye.